Oh God, bills, bills, bills. One is born, one runs up bills, one dies. And what have I got to show for it? Nothing. Blue paint and a stereotypical British accent. Honestly, Eric, sometimes I feel like a pelican. Because your diet consists entirely of fish? I swear, the only thing more painful than talking to you is paying bills. Maybe I can help. I have experience with budgeting. I've told you before, using roadkill as food is not budgeting. It is if it works. What have you got to pay? Aside from taxes, there's rent, water, electricity, streaming subscriptions, insurance, and worst of all, child support. Child support? Long story. The point is, I have a grand total of nine pence to pay all of this. How am I going to do that? Easy, you rob a bank. The pain returns. All right, uh, how about you just rob a couple of people? Better yet, you can become a dashing hold-up man. Then you can pay all your bills, and on top of that, everyone will want to sleep with you. Eric, I'm paying child support. Do you really think I have a problem sleeping with people? No, but you have a problem with bills. You want to pay them the easy way or the right way? <sighs> Fine, we can probably milk a few videos out of this anyway. All right, if I'm going to become a dashing hold-up man, where do I start? I don't know, I'm a cook, not a crook. Debatable, but whatever. There has to be someone I can talk to about. Hello, hello? No, no, and no. Anybody but- Okay, that'll do. Thanks, Sally. No worries, Mick. Step on me. What? You heard me. And I really wish I hadn't. Then you shouldn't have put that line to the script. Shut up. Victor, what are you doing here? We're trying to film something. Sorry about that, mate. I need help moving all this equipment as I'll be starting a new series on this channel to give it some much-needed variety. And I wholeheartedly object to not being its narrator, old chap. Oh, struth. Edward, we've been over this. You'll still get to narrate stories of Sodor, but this new series is mine. What's the problem? The problem? is people will be expecting me to narrate this new series. I am the voice of this channel after all, and I personally feel slighted that you didn't offer me the position. Someone sounds entitled. Shut up. No, no, he's right. You're getting too puffed up in the smoke box, Edward. You desperately need a lesson in humility. Perhaps I should replace you as narrator. You wouldn't. Eric? The rain, for its type, is the wettest thing on- All right, all right, I get it. I'm sorry, I'll keep quiet. Ripper. With all that out of the way, hello everyone, Victor Tanzik here. By my Majority vote, you guys want me to bring the content from my second channel over to this one. Every week I'll read a new story or a collection of them. While this is happening, you'll be entertained by scenes of the guys getting up to shenanigans or just going about their business. So all aboard for the Reddit Railway. Where was I? No, no, and no. Ah, right. Um, no, no, and no. Anybody but you. Okay. Never mind. You'll do. How do I become a criminal? First things first. You'll need a disguise. I know a guy. Morning, Bruce. Um, what? Yep, Toby's the best. I've been coming to him for years. Toby! What? A bloke has to make a living somehow. That's why you're here, isn't it? How do I know you're any good? Look to your left. What the? Where did he? Down here, dummy. What? What? And what? Satisfied? Now, what manner of crime are you planning to commit? Um, robbery. Then you'll want something flexible, comfortable, yet stylish. I've got it. How about this? How did you? Never mind. Oh, oh, can I have a disguise too? Already done. Cool. All right, now that's been taken care of. What's next? We'll save that for the next video. Okay, next step to becoming a proper crook, you need a gimmick. A gimmick? Yeah, you know, something to make you stand out from all the others. Why would I want that? Wouldn't it make more sense to keep a low profile? It's an insurance policy, Gordon. If you've got a good gimmick, then people will like you. That way, if you get nicked, the public will be on your side. What kind of person would sympathize with a criminal? Idiots! And there's plenty of those out there. Odds are some will end up serving on a jury. How do you think I've been able to stay out of prison? I see. What did you have in mind? How about something? old-fashioned. Like what? Riding a horse? That's not gonna work, Gordon. That may be the most intelligent thing you've ever said. No, I mean that's not gonna work because why do you think I called it my chicken roast surprise? How about instead of a horse, I get pulled along by something with the intelligence of a donkey? A zebu? Really? Yeah, House of the Dragon is actually pretty good. What about Rings of Power? I only watched the pilot. It was boring, so I didn't bother with the rest. Maybe I will if, if... What's that noise? It sounds like a... Good day, everyone. Hand over your cash. Gordon, what are you doing? Uh, I'm not Gordon. Then why do you sound like him? And why are you dressed up like that? Getting a head start on Halloween? Shut up and give me your money. Bruh, it's 2022. Nobody carries money anymore. Oh, right. Then hand over your phones. Over my dead body? That can be arranged. Go on then. 
Bollocks! I guess I'll have to resort to kidnapping. Come on, you two. You reckon your quote-unquote horse can carry all of us? I could try! No, Thunderbolt, you couldn't. Well, that's not fair, then. I've been dragging you all over the place, not expecting it paid for it. Oh, all right, then. Here. Ninepence! Satisfied? Not really, no. Phew, there's no pleasing some horses. Well, colour me impressed. Indeed. Good work, Thunderbolt. Thank you. Now what? Now we make a call to the Fat Controller. To say hi? Yes, to say hi. Hello? Hello, Sir Topham. This is... The Flying Felon. I have kidnapped two of your engines, and if you want to see them again, you will pay a ransom of one million pounds. No, I won't. I'm sorry. Brah. Do you have any idea how much it costs to maintain a steam engine in 2022? A lot. And I've got dozens of them to look after. You'll be doing me a favor by taking two of them off my hands. You can keep them for all I care. Have fun with them. Ow! Savage! Indeed! I feel horrible for subjecting you to that! I'm so sorry! Why are you even doing all of this, Gordon? I was desperate. I have bills to pay and no money to do so. Then why didn't you get a loan or ask to borrow money from the rest of us? Because... I didn't think of either of those. Bollocks! I can't believe I've been so stupid! Stupidity begats criminality! Joey! What are you doing here? Arresting you, of course. Reginald, Molly, are you two all right? More annoyed than anything else, and very hurt by what the Fat Controller said. He sends his apologies. He had to say all that to give us time to trace the call. As for you, flying felon, you're going before the judge. What judge? Boy, I say boy, I'm gonna throw the book at you, boy. Oh, bollocks. The court, I say the court, is now in session. The defendants are accused of kidnapping and attempted armed robbery. Is this true? Yes, Your Honor, I was there. Thanks, Eric. Oh, bugger. Can I take that back? No. Since you have effectively pled guilty to the charges, I hereby sentence you to... I say, I say, what on earth is going on here? It looks like the public has come out in support of us. Bruce, did you do this? Kind of. I did stress the importance of a gimmick. Now why, I say, why do you think this is going to help their case? Because nobody likes to admit it, but justice is based on public perception. Wrong. It is based on evidence, and the evidence against these defendants is overwhelming. As I was about to say, I hereby sentence you to 15 days in Railgate Prison. Oh, bollocks. Thanks for nothing, Bruce. Ah well, win some, lose some. As for you, Bruce, for a Attempting to pervert the course of justice, I hereby sentence you to death by firing squad. What? I say, I say, how'd y'all miss?